Hey guys, I'm Richard Beck, you're watching Beck's Armory, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about my diode laser engraver slash marker slash cutter. Um, I know there's some questions that are going to come up right away. Can you etch a knife? Yes, you can. Um, I marked this knife, it actually turned out really well. Um, I will roll some footage in of the marking process because in this video I'm actually going to show you it marking. And then I'll take some, maybe some close-ups because this is a GoPro and it doesn't zoom in. So you're not going to see Jack if I put it up close. Um, but I'll get some other pictures, you know, actually up close. Um, uh, here's a uh, an engraving I did that turned out really well. Um, this machine does really good for wood. Um, if you want to do signs, it does... Uh, it does raster, which is basically like, you know, your printer going back and forth, or it does vector. So if you have AutoCAD, Fusion, or any of those softwares that can create DXFs, you can actually cut lines, vector graphics, um, which I kind of prefer. Um, but if you are a hobbyist, sign maker, knife maker, leather guy, whatever you call leather people. <laughs> Sorry, no offense to leather people. I don't know what you call. Um, this is great for you. Um, this is an inexpensive machine. It was given to me for free, so it's really inexpensive for me. Um, but I'm not under contract um, other than the machine. That's that's the only transaction that happened. They gave me the machine. They said, hey, make some content. And uh, they were confident enough I had to sign nothing. They just gave me the machine. They knew if they gave me the machine, I would like it. Who wouldn't? It's a laser for crying out loud. I mean, it's a laser. <laughs> so anyways, if you want a inexpensive, we're talking around 400 bucks at the making of this video for a five watt. Now they, it's a 40 watt input, five watt output diode laser. Um, it can do wood, it can do uh, steel. Um, you can mark steel, you can cut. Um, you can cut through wood. Um, I'll leave a link to their website as well as a coupon code for 10% off. Their website is really good. I didn't memorize the website, guys. I got the machine. I'm playing with the machine. I'm just giving you my opinion. If you want all the nitty-gritty details about all the specs, how thick of wood it can cut, how much acrylic it can cut, you know, all of that stuff's on their website. Also, software I use, um, it they they give you uh it comes with some free software eh, uh, don't use that it's, it's a waste don't even t spend your time learning the free software go ahead and buy lightburn yeah i suggest lightburn it's uh it's a software you get like a 30-day trial it's very inexpensive it looks like from what i've found out it's like 60 dollars but there's lots of add-ons to lightburn like <clears throat> sometimes you can unlock more features for more money so base package for Lightburn, which is all I've needed so far, I think is around $60 at the making of this video. It's very, very user-friendly software. I mean, if you're tech savvy at all, Lightburn is just, it's very obvious. And also they have tutorial videos. You spend maybe a couple, maybe an hour on their their website, looking at the, watching their YouTube videos. They, they start you off, show you how to hook up your machine, all that stuff, all the basics of the, you know, buttons and everything. And it's very, very easy to learn. I had this um, from the time this thing, you know, we got it out of the box. Within an hour, we were actually laser marking stuff. And it's that simple. And that's even with the assembly process. So uh, my eight-year-old and I <clears throat> both teamed up and put this together. I mean, he was able to put the bolts in, you know, and, and help me out. So I had him sub-assembling some stuff and then I final assembled it. Um, but overall, guys, um, I really like this machine. There are a couple things that I'm not a big fan of, and I will tell you about those here in a minute. So this hammer here, um, I etched that, and that is a very deep etch. Um, I'm almost an eighth of an inch deep with that etching, and that's in wood. Um, and then over here, that is a little bit lighter etch. And this is, uh, you know, just standard hammer handle. Um, I'm actually going to do some cuts for you. Uh, one of the upgrades that I did for this machine was I bolted it down to a table. So I've got little blocks here where I've mounted it. 
Um, so it's permanently attached to this table. One thing I did was I actually uh, laser marked a grid into the table here so that I can see where it is I'm gonna cut, right? So the software here, um, what is this, Lightburn, is really cool software. Now, this software is not free. It comes with free software, but let's be honest, you don't want the free software. This software, um, from what I, I think it's like $60, you get a 30 day trial, but basically you have lots of different colors down here and these are different power settings. You can have unique power settings for all of these. Um, so that's nice. Um, but you'll see here, there's a grid. And then there's, there's numbers here. This is how many millimeters. You can switch it to inches if you want, but it's already in millimeters. And a lot of the resources online um, are in millimeters per uh, minute. So I didn't want to go inches per second because that would be confusing. So I, I put this, right, this uh, grid actually on my table so basically if i tell it to go you know to here it will go to that point so any point i click on the screen it actually goes to on the table and i have marks on the table so i can go right to those points um that's really great because when you are laying something out like Let's say you make some text and you know, you say, hey, I want to uh, cut that text. Well, I don't know where this is, right? So if I click move, then I can put this right down here and I can zoom in and I can see that I'm at 110.50 is where I'm at. So now I look you know, down here at my table, and I go to 110 over to 50. Actually, sorry, 110, 50. So I'm like right here. Um, so then if I put this right there, and then I tell it to go to the center, like 110, 50, right there so i find etching this grid into whatever is underneath is extremely helpful now that only works if you permanently mount it to something which there were holes already in the feet right i didn't have to drill the holes they were there so it's kind of set up already for this um anytime i get some type of cnc machine i want a way to index that's why on my plasma table over here I created an indexing jig um, so you know that's why I also have an indexing jig here so here we go I guess we'll find out so this is at 500 millimeters per inch this is cutting this is mark <laughs> wow this is marking at 500 millimeters per minute at 100% power. Now, the thing about diode lasers, from what I've been told, is you can run them at 100% power all the time. It's not going to hurt them. CO2 lasers, you don't want to do that. You have to run them at like 90% or something less than 100. So that's one benefit of a diode laser. Now, this being 5 watts, it is not a fast process. That is the one drawback is... It's very, very capable, but it's not a fast process. Um, you have a really large area, but if you wanted to do something large, it would take a long time. Um, where some of those where the head doesn't move and it just the laser goes back and forth, those are fast, but those typically only etch, you know, a very small window. And those are typically your fiber lasers. We have one at work. Um, but those are not going to uh, uh, do a really large area, but they will do a small area very fast. So that's the advantage of this setup. Well, that's working. Let's talk a little bit about this guy. So this allows you to cut without a laptop. 
Um, I'm never ever going to use this. I don't know anything about it because I have no interest in it. Um, if you order this whole setup without this thing, you actually save money, right? So there's like some type of software and you can put a, um, a memory card in here. So you can just put like a bitmap, a JPEG or a vector file and you can put it in here and somehow you can cut the files. I don't know. I don't care. I'm never going to use this. I have a laptop with really cool software um, that I can get for $60 and all of my content is on my laptop. All my CAD stuff's on the laptop. So let's see. Did it work? I mean, you can see it says Bex Armory. And it's actually on there. It's not very deep, but it's crisp. And I could have let that thing go over this for 20 minutes, you know, and it would have kept going deeper and deeper. Um, but yeah, technically, yes, it can etch a knife. Um, this is steel, so... I could put, you know, this in here and it would do a much better job. So let's go ahead and try that. Let me show you the setup process. So basically, it's real easy. Um, I loosen this nut. I lift it up. I move to where the corner is. So I'm going to say, tell the machine to go to the corner. So that is the S on the Bex Armory. Now this thing isn't even flat. I should prop it up a little bit. Um, so let's try to do that. See if I can't prop this up a little bit. And then I'll bring it down. This is like super generic focusing. This has a really long focal length, so the focus isn't super crazy critical. Another nice feature of this laser. So let's try to square it up a little bit. Now, I can tell it to outline, give me an idea of the window. Looks like I might go into the bolt. Let's try to scoot it over a little more. Okay. Now, I'm only going to do one pass now instead of three passes. Let's see what it does. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Stop. So it's going way too deep. Um, That's plastic, and I'm cutting, like, all the way, 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 way too deep. So let's turn it all the way. Let's turn it up a lot more. Oops. Okay. So, see, I'm still kind of learning here. Let's go to 2,000 millimeters per minute, not 500. And let's try to cut again. I still think I might be going way too deep, but you can see it's much faster now. I hope I'm not ruining my uh, utility knife because it's kind of expensive. Okay, so, uh, yeah. I burnt super deep into that. Uh, I guess everybody knows it's mine forever. I, goodness sakes. All right, so I'm going to try to etch the back of this drill um, box here with my company, uh, with a belt grinder. I'm going to try to etch one of those right on there. Let's see how it goes. It's burning deep. I probably didn't need to go quite this deep. Um, this is a vector file. This is ABS plastic. Actually, it's really good on ABS plastic, as you can see. I'll show you the final product here, but looking really nice. All right. So there it is.
BA shredder. Or you can see the detail there. But yeah. There we go. You can kind of see. It's about the size of my hand. And it turned out really nice. So yeah. This, for the price, is amazing.